Hello and welcome to another Maggie's Bears, Wines and Spirits video. Today, sort of different, I'm going to be showing you how to make a wash. Now a wash is basically um, a 15% vodka that you then run through an air still to make 60% or 90% vodka, depending on what still you've got. Um, but this is just my version. There's a bet. To tell you the truth, the best person to follow is Richard from Love Brewing. Uh, his videos, fantastic, top quality bloke, and uh, knows what he's on about better than what I do. But the only thing with this video, which I have a little niggle with, is he. I like to get rid of the sugar with hot water, get it gone, and then get the temperature at the end to come in at about 23, 24. He does it the other way. He puts the water in and then puts the sugar in last. And to me, it's a bugger to dissolve. The only difference, you know, otherwise, is video 10 times better than mine. So I've already got my bucket here. It's already been uh, sterilised. Cleanliness is godness. Always make sure you sterilise. Wash out, sterilise, and re wash, re sterilise if you have to. You know, make sure there's nothing that's going to taint your brew. So we've got this, this. The carbon and then the finings. Don't worry about the finings at the moment because you don't need them. Six ninety nine standard price. You get it from oh, I got mine from Creative Rhyme Making, which is based in Ilkeston, but obviously a lot of other places do it. The first thing you need to do is get your six bags of sugar. So I've got my sugar. Pour it in because what we want to do is dissolve that sugar like you would do with any brew. Your primary, primary objective is to get that sugar dissolved. So I've already, already boiled the kettle once. Let me tell you, six, six kilos of sugar takes some chuffing dissolving. So chuck them in. And then if you go to sites like either Creative Winemaking or Love Brewing, they're the two that I recommend the most. Dealt with both of them. Uh, got massive, uh, what's the word, respect for both. So obviously you're turning this into 14% vodka, around about 14, 15%. You can actually get vodkas that do it higher. But this is to be ran for an air still or T500 still. And again, look at both websites because they know a lot more than me. I'm only doing this as a, just so you can see. I saw six bags. First hot kettle of water. I've already boiled one kettle of water. Now like with a coffee, you have got to get that sugar to dissolve. So we've got the kettle. I use two and a half kettles full of water. Around about five and a half to six litres of water. There we go. So that's on. Now to do a bit of stirring. As I've always said, so the wife says I'm a fantastic stirrer. And I used to be years ago. See what it makes, let me show you, without turning the camera off, hopefully. It's like a thick gloopy syrup. So hence why you need so much hot water. And this, let me get you back in the camera, there we go. Hey. This is why I prefer doing it this way over Richard's way. Not because I don't not because I think mine's better, but 
put your sugar in at the end, yes it brings the temperature down, but it's a bugger to get, get it gone. So your carbon, why are you standing there waiting? See this air carbon, it, it, it's, it goes quite solid at times, so you have to move it around, get a, get a good, work it baby, work it, work it. So when you pour it in, at the end, and you'll see, it's all nice and moved around. Now obviously, the filings are for, for, to use at the end, so I'll do another video when we do the end thing. Do a video at the start, this video, and then it's going to be something like seven to ten days, or maybe longer. Doesn't matter how long it takes. Patience is a virtue. Uh, trust me, I know, because I'm as bad as everybody else. You've got to wait until you, you get, you know, uh, if you're using an hydrometer, wait till the hydrometer reads the same level two days on the run, after about seven or ten days. Or, in simple things, wait till there's no bubbles keep appearing out the top. That's probably the better way, if truth no, truth be told. And here's the yeast. This is what's going to turn your sugar wash into a form of vodka or distilled spirit. It's basically saying distilled spirit. Not, not, no, sorry, not distilled spirit, but a fermented spirit because this is fermentation. Dist distillation is the other way. You have using an air still, or something of your own, or a T500. I mean, I suppose there's other models out there. You only need to look on YouTube. Um, like I say, if in doubt, ask your local own brew shop. Me, I trust Creative Wine Making and I trust um, Love Brewing, both shops. And like I say, Richard does a better job of explaining than me. He knows more about it than I do, you know. So, I'm waiting for the second kettle to boil, and then we can start moving a bit quicker then. And I've got to move quick because I've only got about 18 minutes left on my flipping um, on my memory card, so I can't be too long doing this. So I'm going to do this, and then I can't show you the distillation process because I haven't got one, but I've got a friend who has. So I'm doing it for him, and he's going to distill it and bring it back to me. So now I'm going to boil half a kettle full because obviously we don't want it too hot. It's going in the beer room and the beer room is warm enough as it is. So even if I put the yeast in a bit cooler, it doesn't really matter as long as it's not above 24 degrees because you don't want to kill the yeast. And trust me, I've done that. So now, now like a cup of tea, starting to dissolve quite nicely now. You can use brewer's sugar. If you look on Richard's uh, videos, uh, you look brewing's videos, you'll see all that. And he goes through every part of it. And if I'm being honest, I would always use his videos over anybody on the internet. Because you can stop, pause, look back and think, Oh yeah, right, I need to do that. But uh, this is just my version. And the only difference is, is because I don't like putting the sugar in at the end. I like to put it at the beginning and get it dissolved, then I know it's out of the way. The thing is, you want to end up with a lukewarm uh, mix at the end and then before you add your yeast. Now, pretty much, can't feel any sugar. So that's great. Means I'm winning, and I like to win. I don't win often in life. Although I did win some box steam brewery beers this week. So, so 
it's now made a less gloopy syrup. If you look now, you can see now it's a lot less thicker and uh, it doesn't look appetising in the slightest, but uh, you know, it's just how it is. Once that kettle, half the kettle's done, and then it's a case of bish bosh bash, get the cold water all the way up to 25. I use tap water, my tap water's fantastic. Uh, if you've got, I've got an American fridge freezer with a filter on it. If you use, if, you, if your tap water's hard, use filtered water or even bottled water, you know, if need be, if your tap water's really bad. But that's what the, that's what the carbon does, it takes out the impurities, so don't worry too much about your water, unless it is atrocious. And there we go, that's that half in. We're now going to stir again. See, that's it, that's, that's the easiest way I can think. I know Richard's way, we'll all do it our own ways, but we all want to get to the same thing. We all want to get to 25 litres. Um, we want it to lukewarm temperature before we add the yeast and the carbon. I always thought you put the carbon in later, but you don't. Now we're going to get up to 25 litres. Don't put any more than 25 litres in because it won't be usable. So stick to your 25 litres. You're basically going to have near enough 24 litres of usable 15% um, volume. And then the other um, river leads is just going to be sediment you chuck away. Now this is where I don't know because I know with a teeth and air, air still that you put four litres in and it, it brings out, if you put it on for two and a half hours, it brings out around about 800 mils of 60% vodka. So four litres in, 800 mils out. You then water that vodka down, because you're not drinking 60%, Jesus Christ, you kill yourself. You then water it down, and you, it makes around about 1.2 litres. It fluctuates sometimes, but 1.2 litres. You then use that vodka with your essences. So we're at 21 there. We'll get it bang on 25. My god, it's warm already. 23, we're nearly there. And I ain't got many minutes left either, so I need to crack on as it were. And funnily enough, I've actually got scissors today. Hey, full. Looking with gas. So, just waiting a little bit more in because it's just not quite on 25. I'll wait for it to stop. That's it, it's just about on 25. So you need some headroom in your bucket. Buy a 30 litre bucket. Don't be buying a 25 litre bucket or you, you bobbed it. You've got to have a 30 litre bucket, um, fermentation bucket, to do this brew because the it gets violent you know obviously you, you you you're making something that's going to bubble away like an absolute bastard would be the word so get the odor out yeast chuck it in Sprinkle that bugger in. Let's 
straight away, it don't take long to work. And within a couple of hours, it's, it's crack a lacking. Now, the temperature, I forgot to mention, the temperature's nice and lukewarm. It's not hot. It's probably less than 24, but that's the thing. Do not have it above 24. If in doubt, get yourself a thermometer. If it's more than 24, do not process, process to the yeast. And again, um, if you think my way of doing it is crap, follow it, but love brewing's way, because I, I like that way. It's just to allow the sugar to be dissolved first. And there we go, uh, here's the carbon. For God's sake, don't, you use, don't be wearing your best clothes when you put this stuff on, because it's lethal. Get it close to the liquid when you pour it. Basically, it's going to send it black. Make sure you get it all in. That's it. And when you chuck it away, get it out of your way straight away so you're not chucking, touching it. All right. Then, get your stirring spoon. Get your good stir. Smells like a bakery in here. So, I'm not stirring it too much because by the time I get to the shed with it, at the bottom of the garden, it's going to be it's going to be well stirred. Let's put it that way. Uh, and hopefully, I won't trip over the decking. So there you go. That's what it looks like. It's all black. Amazing, isn't it? That that will turn into uh, vodka within so many days. Now I'll come back to you. So today is uh, June the. 26, 2020. I'll come back. I'll be back. When? When it's ready to add the finings. You've got stable, you've got, you put the finings in and then you have to mix it up to, for stay, you know, to get, um, to get the air out. And Richard uses device to like a drill thing to get all the air out but I'll, I'll come across that when when it's time but the main thing is now is to put the airlock on and there you have it and that is how to set up um, a wash and that's my way of doing it there are other ways there's lots of videos on the internet but it's a journey it's a it's, it's an interesting got nine minutes it's an interesting um, road to go down and in this in these days of um, what's been happening in this coronavirus um, people brewing their own has shot through the roof people are buying these stills and it's just my way of showing you how to do it mine might not be the best and uh, but the, the general um, basics of their clean sanitized fermentation bucket for me Getting, rid of the, getting the sugar dissolved at the start is 10 times easier than at the end. Trust me. Um, and obviously, make sure it's lukewarm, below 24 degrees at the end, before you put your yeast on. It tells you on the packet anyway. And as always, watch my video if you, if you want to. And uh, if you don't agree, that's great, I don't mind. And then watch Richard from Love Brewing, and how he does it. He's got quite a few videos um, that talk you through the whole process. Better videos than mine, if I'm being honest. Um, but he's been doing it a hell of a lot longer. And that's it, really. That's how you do it. Uh, you start off your wash. We'll come back to it after so many days. I might even show you it bubbling one day. You'll probably hear it because it'd be in my bloody beer room bubbling away like a twonk. And that's it. That's that. Thanks for watching, uh, thanks for subscribing, and stay safe. See you soon. Cheers.